So this here is the Nomi V2 from Big Tree Tech. The Nomi V2 is a screen designed to be attached to your stealth burner tool head that lets you check on your printer with just a glance, or it actually has a touch screen so you can even control parts of your printer. You can preheat, home, etc. It's pretty cool. But wait, that's not a tool head. This here is Bob, and Bob is my personal 3D printing assistant. And just like any real human assistant, he comes complete with one or two distinct emotions that I can promptly ignore. In this video, I'm gonna talk about why Bob, how Bob works, and how you can build a Bob. So, let's get into it. First, let's talk about the why. Why did I make Bob? Well, honestly, I really liked my Nomi V1 that I had, and if you saw my last video, you'll know that I actually got rid of the stealth burner tool head, which means I don't have a way of using the Nomi anymore. So I had this idea of making a standalone Nomi screen for a while now. However, when I was taking apart my old stealth burner, I maybe broke it. I broke the Nomi V1 that uh, BTT provided me, which I made a video on way before. And maybe BTT somehow found out because they actually reached out to me again and asked if I wanted to review their Nomi V2. I guess they liked the original video, but that also means they're finding out right now that I broke the first one. So I'm sorry, guys. Thanks for the free stuff. That was really nice of you. I was very clear with them that I'm not using the stealth burner anymore, but I had an idea to use it as a standalone device and they were all for it. So they sent it over and this is what I created. Anyway, the Nomi V2 is actually a huge improvement over the V1, especially for this project because of the touchscreen that actually provides utility to Bob here rather than just, you know, being some cute, pretty face that hangs out near my printer. So here's the plan. The Nomi already has a face, and a face without a body is creepy, so the Nomi needs a body. Also, I'd like this to be a battery-powered project, so here's the two requirements. One, has a body. Two, battery-powered. So Bob's face is a perfect circle. Do you know what else has a perfect circle as a face? Stickman. So the obvious choice was to make a 3D Stickman. But of course, I wanted to be able to like relate to him, so I made him a bit lazy. He kind of just, he hangs out, he just lounges on his little platform. Just like me, I don't really get, I don't do that much. To make Bob battery powered and portable, I use these cool off the shelf five volt boost converter and LiPo charge boards, which I will link on my printables page. I also use these cool type C header boards and a rocker switch. The battery that I used was just one I had laying around from an old project. I'm still gonna link it on the printables page, but feel free to design the full Fusion 360 model to incorporate a bigger battery. You will have to modify the project though, but it's really just make the square bigger for the dimensions of whatever battery you wanna use. So let's go over the assembly of Bob here. First things first was to set it up outside of Bob. So you really just gotta connect it to the Wi-Fi. You do this by connecting directly to it from your cell phone. Again, I was not able to do it from my Android phone, but I was able to do it from my partner's iPhone. So next was actually assembling Bob. The first thing you have to do is since the Nomi V2 comes with an antenna is actually stick the antenna to the inside of the head. And then what I did is I ran the connector wire up through the bottom of Bob's um, <clears throat> Bob's bottom holes, which then run up through the neck into the Nomi, plug everything in before you sit it down. The little face clip then will clip into place. Word of advice, if you are putting this together, do put the top clip in first and then the other two can go in. It will take some force to like kind of bend it out and around. Uh, but it wasn't too much of a problem. Next was actually screwing Bob down to this first little platform he sits on. It only requires two screws. I used two self-tapping M3 by eight screws. I will link the full screw kit I used. I just find them really useful for 3D printing, uh, but you only are gonna put the screws here and here for this part. Next was starting to assemble the electronics in the base. First thing I did was put this USB type C board in it just kind of snaps into place there and then goes in with two six millimeter M3 self-tapping screws. Then with some double-sided tape, I attach the LiPo charge and five volt boost converter board. There are four little lights on the back that indicate charge level. So those line up with the little holes in the back of the case. Then the rocker switch just snaps into place. It's very satisfying. Then next, I attach the battery with the leads going to the left using, again, some double-sided tape. Then it was time to start soldering. 
I actually had some spare little JST battery connectors, so I connected a couple of wires to those just so I could run the wires from that LiPo charge 5 volt boost circuit to the battery. Next, I soldered the USB header to that 5 volt board and then plugged it in to make sure it was working correctly before I continued. Next, I wired the output. I actually used some jumper cables because the Nomi itself has female jumpers, so I could just connect them and reconnect them in case I wanted to use the Nomi for a different project. Anyway, at this point, I gave it a quick test just to make sure that 5 volt board could actually power it from that the USB plug before I finished up the soldering. This is where it was nice that I had that JST connector for the battery. I was able to solder that on without the battery connected before I plugged in the battery. Next, I double checked that the battery could charge from the board itself. And after I verified that, I plugged everything in, stuffed the cables in, and then put the bob on his platform. Then it was just a matter of putting the last three screws in. These are M3 by 10 self-tapping screws. Last thing I did was just add a couple little rubber stick-on feet, and that was it. Bob was done. He was ready. So overall, the Nomi V2 is a really cool device, and I'm glad they sent it to me. I'm also glad I was able to find a way to use it without using the Stealth Burner toolhead. Um, I'm, you know, on the XOL toolhead now, which I, I much prefer, but I still like the utility and I like the cute faces of the, the Nomi V2. So this has been a great addition. I do actually use this a lot more than I thought I would. I do bring it around with me to like my kitchen or my bedroom whenever I'm not in the same room as my 3D printer so I can kind of keep track of what's going on. You know, it's, it, you don't, it's not a necessary thing to build at all, but I enjoy it and I'm glad I made it. So yeah, feel free to make one yourself and let me know. Uh, post a make on the printables page. Thanks for watching. Damn, Bob, are you a baker? Because you got that cake. <laughs>